Hi. Now, in this last part, you just got to find the Cartesian equation of the curve given by this parametric equation. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, do fast forward if you want to check your answer, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So in order to do this, what we've got to do is eliminate t between these two equations. And I'm going to make t the subject from, say, this one. And then I'm going to substitute it into this equation here. So if we start off by just putting down what x is, x is 1 over t then, minus 1. Now if I multiply both sides by t, I therefore have xt equals 1 minus t. And then adding t to both sides, we've got xt plus t equals 1. And then factorize the left-hand side here. Pull out t as a common factor, and you've got t times all of x plus 1. And that equals the 1. And now I can divide both sides by x plus 1. So t equals 1 divided by x plus 1. And if I call this 1, and all we've got to do now is just simply substitute this, and we'll just mention that in here, sub in this equation up here. Let's call this equation 2, sub in equation 2. And if we do that, what we get is y equals 2 times t, 2 times 1 over x plus 1, and then plus 1 divided by t squared. So that's going to be 1 all over x plus 1 squared. Doesn't look very tidy there. So what I could do is, we'll just reciprocate this, okay? So we're going to end up with, and I'll multiply this bracket out. We've got 2 times 1, which is 2, all over x plus 1. And then if we reciprocate this, we're just going to get plus x plus 1 all squared. And there's your answer. Okay, find a Cartesian equation of the curve. So anything like this or equivalent is going to be satisfactory. Okay.